Do you need help switching from Intel graphics to NVIDIA graphics? Well, if you're using the wrong GPU, you are missing out a ton of performance, which is not very nice. However, I first need to do some clarifications. We'll basically need to do a little check what graphics card you have. Now click Windows X and then you go to Device Manager and in the Device Manager you can see Display Adapters. On Display Adapters you can see what graphics cards you have. We have the Intel HD graphics and we have the NVIDIA GeForce graphics here. Now a graphics card is a physical thing inside your computer. If you have a computer with uh, only Intel graphics, you can't download a NVIDIA card or anything like that. You might think this sounds silly, but this is like a question I, went, I got really often on my old videos. So I just want to make sure that everyone understands that Intel graphics is the thing that's integrated into your processor. NVIDIA graphics card is a company that makes graphics cards and it's a physical card that's inside your computer. If it's missing, you can't get NVIDIA graphics. You can't install a NVIDIA driver. You first need that physical hardware. Yes, if in any case you can find that you have a NVIDIA graphics card inside here and Intel stuff here, well, then you definitely have one. Uh, and what you might need to do is you might need to update the drivers um, for everything to work normally. And we go through that later in this video. To be able to switch from Intel to NVIDIA graphics, what you want to do is you need to right click on your desktop and go to the NVIDIA control panel. If your NVIDIA control panel is missing, I will show you in a second. Anyways, let the NVIDIA control panel boot up. And in the NVIDIA control panel, you can see, first you get to this page, of course. And by the way, here you can select if you want your um, system to prioritize the quality of the stuff or if it wants to prioritize the like FPS of the stuff. You can use this slider here uh, if you don't want the automatic. But anyways, what we are here to do is go to the manage 3D settings. Here on global settings, you have preferred graphics processor. Click that, select high performance NVIDIA processor and click apply. Beautiful. And it might take a few seconds to uh, apply it. When you've done that, you can go to program settings. And if you have some programs that require you to use the integrated graphics of your motherboard, like the CPU one, then you need to set it here. One example is OBS. OBS broadcasting software does need you to use the CPUs, Intel HD graphics. So search up OBS and set it to integrated graphics if you use OBS. That's just a little quick tip. Otherwise, you can leave that just unchecked. Make sure that preferred graphics processors is the NVIDIA one. Then you, of course, go to PhysX and you go to GeForce GTX and click apply. So that's basically how you change it from using the Intel integrated graphics to the NVIDIA one. And this is quite important because otherwise you miss out on a ton of performance if your games try to use the Intel one instead. In some cases, it might be so that your integrated graphics card is set as the default or preferred one in BIOS. If this is the case, you need to change it in BIOS. These are some screenshots of how it might look in different BIOSes where you can select the preferred graphics card. If the Intel one is the preferred one, you might accidentally bypass your NVIDIA card. However, this is the thing that's most common for um, computers that are tower computers and not laptops. The one where you go into the control panel is most common for laptops and not tower computers. Speaking about tower computers, it is vital 
that you have connected in your display in the right connection back at your computer. When we're talking about laptops, the video outputs are basically all the time connected directly to the graphics card only. So when you plug in an external screen in a laptop, you will use the NVIDIA graphics card. However, if you have a tower PC and you're connecting the screen, it matters if you connect it into the GPU, the graphics card, the actual graphics card, like the hardware thing, or if you connect it directly into the motherboard, if you do connect it into the motherboard, you will bypass the NVIDIA card and then it will be like you won't use it because you will bypass it, basically. If this is the case, plug it into the graphics card. That's super important that you do that if you want to have the performance from your graphics card and not tax the processor. In any case, uh, if you missed the control panel when you just right click here, let me show you how you can find the control panel. If you right click on your desktop and you see no NVIDIA control panel, you might think it's missing. Well, maybe not. Click your Windows key and write in control panel. Launch the control panel. Here inside the control panel, you can find NVIDIA control panel. Click that. On the desktop tab, you can check the box add desktop context menu. Click that. Now you can easily access the NVIDIA control panel from your desktop. If you still miss your NVIDIA control panel, you can see if it's even on the computer. Go to this PC, local disk where you have installed uh, your main operating system. Then you go to Program Files and NVIDIA Corporation. Inside this you can find Control Panel Client. The file that's called nvcplui.exe is your NVIDIA Control Panel. You can make a shortcut to this to desktop by dragging and holding Alternative. If you are sure that you have a NVIDIA graphics card in your system but you don't have the control panel still or you can't find it in the device manager make sure that the bios settings are okay if you still have some issues we can update the drivers which is something we'll do right now this is how you properly install your nvidia drivers everything explained click windows key x and choose device manager click device manager inside the device manager you can see under display adapters you can see what kind of NVIDIA card you have note that number down very carefully so you can see exactly which card you have then you go to the NVIDIA homepage link in description and choose that exact card as you had in your device manager and it's important it's the same like I had the 950 M that's the laptop version so make sure it's the right version. Windows 10 is my system. Then there are game ready drivers and studio drivers. Um, basically everyone should just go with game ready drivers. Then you just click search. And then you go to the download page and you just click download. Save it wherever you like. Then you can just launch the exe file directly from the browser or you can just search up where you have chosen to save it. And then you just double click on it and of course agree to the UAC if it asks you and then also click OK on the extraction process. When the extraction is done it will launch the installation process. Here. It will check your system's compatibility. If you selected the wrong drivers, it will tell you here. Then you can see we have GeForce Experience and only the graphics drivers. Select only the graphics drivers. You can use GeForce, uh, GeForce Experience if you want to, but I don't really particularly like it. And it draws down your performance on your system a little bit. On Express or Customized, you choose the Customized installed below. Check that box and click Next. 
Here, we can see we have checked the, uh, the physics and the graphics drivers, but not the NVIDIA GeForce experience. We have something called a clean installation. This will remove some different settings you have set before. And this is a very good idea to check if you have any kind of graphics driver issues. If you don't have any issues, you don't need to check it. Then you just wait for the installation process to finish. It may take several minutes. Installation was completed and successful. You can now close down this window. Now you should have the latest NVIDIA drivers on your system for your graphics card. Well, I do hope this video cleared up everything that might have been unclear in the previous video. And well, hoped it helped you. If it did, please leave a like and do subscribe for future videos. If you really want to help the channel, please also donate by PayPal or credit card or Patreon. In any case, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in future videos. This is your host, Jim Odesim, signing out.